The following video illustrates the work that was submitted to Clinical Anatomy as an original communication in fall 2014. We present a novel three-dimensional model of lumbar spinal structures of anesthetic interest. In the article, we describe how the anatomical 3D model was reconstructed and provide a hyperlink from which the model can be downloaded in PDF format. The web page that opens contains a short description of the project and its versions in different languages. By scrolling down, we can access the PDF file with a 3D model. It is very important to point out that the file should not be open in the internet browser, but rather downloaded on the user's computer. Apart from the 3D file, the instructions and the license file are available. They should all be downloaded and saved in the same folder. After locating the folder with the downloaded documents on the user's computer, the 3D PDF file should be opened by either Adobe Acrobat, if one is installed on a computer, or by freely available Adobe Reader. After opening the document, in the middle we can see the 3D space containing the anatomical model. The model is rotated by holding down the left, left mouse button and moving the mouse. The 3D space contains anatomical structures, of which at this moment the three vertebrae are visible, the L3, L4 and L5, together with the 2D MRI slices that will serve us as a reference. On the left of the document, the predefined views of the model are available. The default view, the anterior, lateral, posterior, and superior view. The model can be zoomed in and out by right mouse button or the scroll wheel and translating in space by holding both right and left mouse button. If we click on one structure, it is highlighted and its name appears in the drop-down menu on the left. The structure can be hidden or made partially transparent in order to make adjacent structures visible. By button Show All, we visualize all structures available and observe how through partially transparent vertebra L4 the dural sac and epidural fat are visible. Next, let's hide all the structures and visualize L3 vertebra and dural sac in order to demonstrate how the MRI slices functionality works. By selecting the axial option, a T2 weighted magnetic resonance image with axial orientations appears in the 3D space alongside the anatomical model. It is possible to navigate along successive images in each orientation. If we make dural sac partially transparent, we can observe how it corresponds to the lighter area on the MR image. The reason being the cerebrospinal fluid contained within its walls. On both sides, the dural sac has extensions known as dural sleeves containing the nerve roots 
of cauda equina, corresponding to the darker oval area in axial MRI slice. The images in different orientations can be shown independently or in combination. In sagittal option, we move along the sections from the left to the right and again observe the correspondence of the 3D structures and the anatomical sections. In coronal option, they move between the anterior and posterior sections. Starting again from the default view, we will show another available feature, the clipping. The model is cut by a clipping plane in a selected orientation, which allows us to see the structures from the inside. The offset can be changed in order to move the clipping plane along the successive cuts. Clipping is available in all three axes. And if we show all the structures together, we can see how they overlap from the inside. Apart from these buttons on the left that serve to facilitate the interaction of the user with the model, the document also contains an additional functionality an educative presentation that consists of predefined views and their short descriptions. The presentation is reproduced by clicking on the number buttons at the bottom. The presentation starts with the general view of the lumbar spine and it moves to the anatomy of the vertebra. The body the pedicles, lamina, and transverse processes. Next, we observe the trajectory of the needle during an epidural block, medial approach to the vertebral canal. After the needle is inserted through the skin and passes subcutaneous tissue, it will cross various ligaments. First, the supraspinous ligament, then the interspinous ligament, and after this, the ligamenta flava or yellow ligaments. Finally, reaching posterior epidural fat. Now we can observe the dural sac and sleeves inside of which the nerve roots of cauda equina or horse's tail are located. In blue the sensory roots and in red the motor roots. The detailed instruction on how to use this document can be accessed by clicking on the question mark button on the top, which will open the instructions file offline in the internet browser. The main information about the authors is given, as well as the short introduction to the project. after which the image is provided containing the interactive buttons that lead to different chapters explaining each particular section of the 3D file. Thank you very much for watching and do not hesitate to download the files and try them out yourselves.